My name is Ulu Kola and I'm a chosen generation called forth to reveal the truth behind the scriptures. This is reading between the lines. In my last video, I spoke about the firmament and how God used the firmament to separate the waters above the firmament from the waters beneath the firmament where our earth is encased. Today, I want to speak to you about the gathering of the waters, the appearance of land, and God starts creating vegetation. But before I go into that, I want us to take a step back and see if there was any lesson or if there is any lesson to be learned from the firmament. There were three things that will always come into a man or a woman's life at one point or the other. People, habits and beliefs. And quite often, we don't have the spirit of discernment to separate the good from the bad. And unfortunately, we only learn the truth much further down the line. At which point, these things have already come, become part and parcel of our lives. And it becomes almost impossible difficult for you to separate yourself from that person, from that habit that has now become an addiction, from that belief that you've now discovered is a lie. You know, you've called this person that is now your fiance, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your business partner into your life. You know, you picked up this habit that has now become an addiction and is and is is dragging you down, causing you to be depressed. You've tried everything. You know, you've tried to use your willpower and it hasn't worked. It has become a vicious cycle, you know, of you getting in and out, telling yourself it's going to be the last time, but you find yourself still going back to that thing, to still going back to that uh, to that betting house, to that um, uh, that thing, to, 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 the drink, the bottle, the smoke, the party, the women. You find yourself going back each time, and each time you, you after after the deed is done, you, you know you are you are you are embroiled in. in guilt and shame and you keep condemning yourself you know you've believed in this in this thing for so long and you've now come to realize that it's all a lie stop it is time to separate the good from the bad you're not a bad person you are a good person god made you in his likeness and it in his image you are an image of perfection you are an image of of wonder of a, of amazement you are beautifully and wonderfully made unfortunately because of our nature that has been corrupted by sin we don't have that discernment you know to tell what is good from what is bad often times but i've come to tell you that the, the, the creator of everything, the one who brought the firmament in the beginning to separate the waters above from the waters beneath is there to separate you from that thing, to separate you from that from that person or those people that, that are threatening to, to drag you down to your grave, to destroy you, to destroy your goal, to destroy your dream, to destroy your purpose, uh, to, to hold you down and keep you depressed and control you, you know, and continue to abuse you day in, day out, you know, let me tell you, you need to run to God, you know, the name of the Lord is like a strong tower, they that run into it shall be saved, you need to call on the maker of life, the maker of the firmament, who will bring in that spirit into your life, his Holy Spirit will come into your life and and separate you from that habit, from that addiction, from that thing that has found its way into your life and is threatening to destroy you. You are at a tipping point now. You keep telling yourself, oh, where am I going to start? Oh, where, what am I going to do? How am I going to pick up the pieces? What's going to happen? I've got children now. You know, I've invested so much money. I've invested so much time. I've invested so much energy. I've invested so much of my effort. I put my all. Oh, I poured out my soul into this thing, and look at where I am. You know, I can't tell people what's going on. You know, you to, you just keep it bottled up. You know, you keep bearing the pain. You keep bearing the abuse. You keep bearing the beatings. You know, you keep bearing the loss. But I've come to tell you that you don't have to bear it. You can free yourself. You know, 
For you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. What is the truth? The truth is that Jesus Christ of Nazareth died for you so that you might have freedom knowing that you have access to the Father through him and that your joy is in the Lord. You know, he will bring his Holy Spirit into your life if you invite him in. It is time to invite him into the situation. Is the one that will set you free. It will make a cream break for you. It will bring you back to, you know, the, your, your intended purpose. You know, the intended plan, the plans it has for you are so beautiful, are so wonderful. It's plans of fulfillment, of joy, of, of, of gladness, of happiness, of peace, of love. You know, you deserve to be with someone that loves you and cherishes you and adores you and, and you know, treats you like, you know, treats you special. You know, you, you don't have to be in that um, habit each time, you, you know, you get into it, you, you know, each time you go in the bottle, you go out, you know, you go back to the woman, you go back to this, to this, to the smoking, you're going back to that thing, you're going back to that drug, you know, that you feel is going to give you that fulfillment. But each time you go back, you find out it's a lie. It's a smoke screen. Let that glass be shattered now. Let that smoke screen be, be, be you know, let it, let it be blown away. Let the veil come down. Let it be split. Let your eyes be open. You know, embrace the spirit of the living God through Jesus Christ. And he will separate you. He will restore your purpose. He will restore your, your joy. He will restore your happiness. He will restore your home. Okay? Now I'm going to read from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, <clears throat> from verse Nine And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Verse 11. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass. The herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw so that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. The third day. Now, you need to understand what's going on here. You know, before uh, those beautiful things started to happen, God, you know, brought in the firmament to separate the waters uh, above from the waters beneath. The same way you need to separate yourself from that thing before you can see the, the fruitfulness, before you can see, you know, the, the life start to, 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 to come out of you, you know, the, the abundance start to come out of you. The same way the earth brought forth the vegetation, that is the same way the goodness will start to come out of your life once you separate yourself from that thing. It is that thing that is holding you back. You are at the tipping point right now, you know, but you have to make up your mind because it can be fatal. You don't want to live a life of broken dreams and unfulfillment. You want to live a purposeful life. I know this life is only temporary, but you are not meant to live your whole life in hardship and anguish and pain and suffering and, you know, regretting, you know, and, and shame. You don't have to go through that. You know, the power of the living God, the power of the Holy Spirit can set you free. You just need to embrace him, call him into the situation and he will give you a strong spirit a firm spirit where your will will become so strong that you will cut yourself loose from that situation. He will deliver you. Your time is now. And I pray that you make the right decision in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to pray with you. Father, Lord, God, I just pray with whoever is in this situation and is listening to me right now that the sound of my voice 
Heavenly Father, give them a strong will and let them come to a knowledge of your truth and let them express your power to illuminate their minds, to set them free from their shackles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make that decision today and you will never be the same. I can guarantee you that your joy is in the Lord. Embrace him. Don't listen to the lies. Don't listen to the rumors. Especially now with all this fake news that's going around. You know, don't dwell on things that will cause you to panic, that will bring anxiety into your life. Anything that comes into your space that does not bring you peace and joy and happiness and fulfillment is not from God. Anything that comes into your space into your inbox, into your WhatsApp messages, whatever people are circulate, circulating around, don't feed into it because they will only cause anxiety. They will only cause fear. You know, dwell on the word of the Lord. This is the King James's version that I'm reading. Get yourself a copy. Grab hold of the book and immerse yourself in it. Know the truth for yourself and let that truth set you free. Till I come your way again with more revealing stuff. My name is Ulu Kola and I'm a chosen generation. This is Reading Between the Lines. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye. God bless you.